Can you explain, Dr. Bibek De Broy, from a purely economic rationale, what do you think are the three big positive, tangible takeaways from demonetization? Before I respond to that, I think the first point to appreciate, which a lot of people, I'm afraid, still don't appreciate, is 8th of November 2016 was only one particular policy measure. It should not be considered in isolation. It should be considered against the backdrop of a whole lot of other measures that have been done to prevent the creation of new black money and also to address black money that existed in the form of non-cash. So the first clear advantage or the first clear gain is that all the cash has come back into the system. Contrary to expectations earlier, which were based on extrapolation of what had happened in 78, all the money has come back. So therefore, that money now has to be explained about how I got that money, whether that is white or whether that is black, in terms of my having either not paid taxes on it, or alternatively, that income have origi having originated in activities that are criminal. So therefore, first is that. So let's take it one by one. Yeah. The one thing that you mention is the generation of new black money being stopped. I want to contest that by asking you, what makes you think that the generation of new black money is being stopped because a lot of the reasons for which black money was created in the first place, real estate, secondary purchases as an example, or gold are still happening in cash. So how then do you say with so much confidence that new black money is not being created? It is an incremental process. And remember, there are other instruments also. Remember, the act was passed to govern the real estate sector. A lot of this is not to change things overnight, but to ensure a gradual transition from the unorganized to the organized. I'm sure your channel or your sister channels must have carried plenty of stories, anecdotal, about how in Delhi and NCR, particularly in Delhi, the property market has collapsed within quotes because the black component has disappeared. No, so let's see what's happened with the property market. I have some data which suggests that about 12.7% of the inventory is lying unsold. The markets that have been hurt the most are the NCR region and Mumbai, where a lot of it was speculation stroke investment. So that inventory is lying unsold. Property price rates haven't necessarily crashed in markets like Delhi. A lot of property is lying unsold and builders are running to the bankruptcy, uh, are running towards bankruptcy. I suggest you do a story, and it's not very difficult for a channel like you to do a story, on what is the black-white component in Delhi of property transactions. And therein will lie your answer as to why, within quotes, the real estate market, or at least in Delhi, has collapsed a little bit, because there are very few people who are willing to transact 100% in white.